All right, so this is an exciting day. A lot of folks are not going to get this, but I think a lot of the women on the channel will. You cannot come inside the house, and I want to show you all why. Guys, join me. I already have permission to video these ladies. That's right. Lester has some ladies in the house. Come on. So just excuse the vacuum and everything laying out. Mackenzie and Chelsea. Hello. I would like to talk a little bit. Ladies, look what they're doing. <laughs> so for Jamie's birthday, uh, she's traveling today. So I asked these ladies, uh, they're friends of Brienne's. And you're Brienne's friend, right, Chelsea? Or I from school? From high school. From high school. Yeah. And so Brienne gave me her number. They are local housekeepers. You got housekeepers? Yes. And so you guys go around and you just spot clean or Pretty deep clean people's clean. homes. Yep. And you do it like on a, you have a regular schedule? Mm -hmm. Wednesday okay. through Friday. Okay. So I got their number and I called and I told them it's going to be a birthday surprise for Jamie. And I said, what do I have to do ahead of time? And they said nothing, but I felt a little bit embarrassed. So I kind of did a spot clean real fast. And so when Jamie gets back, She's going to walk in and think, Lester, what have you done? And uh, I'm not going to take credit for it. I'm going to give all the credit to these ladies over here. And uh, I can't wait to see how it looks when you guys are done. So thank, thank you for doing this. Thank you. All right. Hey, folks, Lester here. And I'm coming to you today with a very serious question. Let's wait for Ben to... <laughs> I have nothing. Hey, come here. I got a question for you. I'm going to include Ben in this video. Come on over here. I'm going to include Ben in this video because this will be fun. So I do come to you with a very serious question. Ben, I come to you with a very serious question. Okay. Now, I know that you're not married, but I want to ask you a question. Um, today, I've done something special for Jamie's birthday right. that to, I think is special. But I'm wondering if, as a woman, she's going to see it as an insult. Okay. I hired some housekeepers. A couple of ladies who are going to come by. They're here now. And they're in the house, and they're just doing a complete everything. I mean, it's not a spot clean the way I would do. But Jamie's traveling, and I thought, you know what? When she gets back, I'm going to surprise her with a really, really clean house. Yet, I'm not the one doing it. And so my question is, is that kind of equivalent to a guy buying a woman a blender? Or you know how they make jokes about guys who don't really think about stuff? Or is that, in fact, a, a good birthday gift? I mean, you're just your thoughts. I think it's pretty good. Um, I think she'll like it, you know, not having to take the pressure off of her. Is that, is that, though, in a way saying that I'm taking a cheap way out, I'm copping out and not being very thoughtful? Instead, I'm just going to hire someone to do the hard work for me? Um, I don't know. I <laughs> you had to think about it for a minute. I don't think so. I think it's fine. Well, the thing is, it was a great idea, I thought. And now as they're in there cleaning, I'm thinking to myself, how's Jamie going to react to this? Because she's going to walk in and... Just tell her you did it. Huh? Just tell her you did it. Just tell her you did it. Tell her that I did it. Yes. I'm going to think about that I one, Ben. Yeah, she's I just... Have you She'll ever... She'll never know. She'll never know. So I am... Very pleased with how the house looks. What I have to do is not get in there and mess everything up until Jamie gets back. I want her to see it the way it looks right now. So I'm going to Longhorn Lester's. <laughs> I'm going to Longhorn Lester's. Uh, I do. I was thinking more about the question that I posed to you, and here's what I think is going to happen. Here's what I think is going to happen. If I was a woman and I got home to seeing that my partner had paid someone to do a really nice thorough cleaning of the house i think that i would be kind of torn i think that my reactions would be torn on one hand i would feel sort of like what ben said oh what a relief that i can take some pressure off take a load off after traveling i can kind of get back and just relax and not have to worry about cleaning in all the house but on the other hand I might think to myself, wait, what's he trying to say? What's he trying to tell me? Is he trying to say that the house is not clean and that he's ashamed of how the house looks? So I don't really know exactly how different people may take it. That's why I really want to hear your thoughts. It's kind of like when a man buys his wife a blender for her birthday. What's he trying to tell her? 
was it the first thing off the shelf so bam or does he want her to do more baking <laughs> i don't know come on ladies chime in and uh hopefully if jamie sees this video and there's enough of y'all supporting me on this one over here was saying what a, what a wonderful idea it was then maybe she won't be so mad all right so i want to show you guys how clean they made this house uh now, just avoid Maggie right there. Look, they stacked all of the mail here on a little place together. And all the counters are just so clean. I uh, just ignore my lunch, okay? Just to forget that part. They sorted and organized everything. All the, oh, this is awesome. Look what they've done. You don't know this, but they actually came by and they sorted. Move, Maggie. Back, Maggie, move. Look what they've done. They went by and opened all of the cabinets and sort of sorted and everything for us, which I know you don't know how it looked before. I, I've never shown you guys stuff like that, but they went by and they just organized and sorted everything and ran a filter through our coffee maker, uh, run a bleach cycle through it. I asked them to leave my stuff right there, so just ignore that. Over on here, they did all the fans. They cleaned all of the blinds, ladies. They even pulled out all the little ornaments that we have that you guys have gifted us and cleaned and wiped all of those things down and then had to restack them all. And then they went by and restacked them all. And then uh, I'm embarrassed to show you everything, but you have no idea how over time, you, you probably do. If you have a husband or a man in your life, you know how dirty the tub and the shower can get. And they just did everything. They cleaned all the soap stains off of there, the little soap residue. And I'm just so impressed. So personally, look, they stacked all my hats. And they stacked all, that's awesome. They cleaned the fans, the light fixtures as far as dusting everything. So I don't know exactly how you feel, ladies. I don't know if this would be an insult to you or if you would be complimented. But this over here is the actual birthday gift. The hillbilly hot tub was fun, but this over here was the actual birthday gift. What's wrong with you, Maggie? I think that Maggie's uh, let me know this was not a good idea to have people in our home while Jamie was gone. Women in our home while Jamie was gone. But I can't wait to get Jamie's reaction to it. And uh, so you guys keep your fingers crossed that Leslie did a good one. And please take the time to share a comment and let me know exactly how you think, how you would feel if this was something your husband did for you or your partner. And uh, if you would be complimented by someone going through your cabinets or if you would be embarrassed and insulted because that was kind of important. That was big. All right, guys. Can't wait to see your comments on this one. And I really can't wait to see Jamie's reaction. Do you know I was about? Seriously, I was considering just lying to Jamie and say that I did it myself. I was gonna say, look what I've done. I cleaned the house, I organized the shelves and stuff. Happy birthday. And then I run across that. That special fold they put in the toilet paper roll. And now I know there's no way I can try to tell Jamie that I did it because if they went by and did something like that, they probably did little things all around the house to leave their own little signature. And now there's no way I can try to get by with that one. Sweetie, okay. I'm glad I did not lie. I'm glad I, I'm glad I didn't lie. All right, I didn't lie. And if having our house deep cleaned was not gift enough to Jamie, look, I'm being gifted by the heavens with a beautiful afternoon shower. Seriously, this is awesome. This is a great day. This is a great day. Or could God be crying for me? Could this be a way of saying God is crying tears for what I'm about to endure when Jamie gets home? Oh, Lord. Maggie, could God be crying tears for me? What am I about to go through, Maggie? Oh, no. Even Maggie says no. Huh? Just tell her you did it. Just tell her you did it. Tell her that I did it. Yeah.